Um, I have loved birds um, since I was in grade school and uh, really have never wanted to do anything else. Uh, the Mid-Atlantic Coastal Plain, particularly Chesapeake Bay, is so rich with birds. It's such a dramatic area for bird conservation. There's really no other place like it on the continent. Um, I live here in Williamsburg, so the James River is in my backyard, literally. And so it's uh, great to be able to be close by and to be able to get out here on the water and work and study here on the James. Um, in 1962, uh, Jamestown Island, just um, near us here, was considered one of the strongholds in the Chesapeake Bay. It had three breeding pairs just on Jamestown Island. But by 1972, there was only one um, breeding pair remaining on the James, and in 1975, there were none left. There were a number of early factors, land clearing uh, sort of in the Civil War period certainly reduced the population, hunting of eagles and collecting of eggs and adults. But it was the introduction of contaminants, particularly DDT, and on the James Keepone uh, was introduced into the entire Chesapeake Bay on the James near Hopewell. Um, it was those chemicals that really reduced productivity to the point where the population couldn't sustain itself. Adults were dying and they weren't being replaced, so the population was declining. Um, so the removal of DDT um, and the banning in 1972 has really allowed for a recovery of the productivity and the population followed that recovery. We don't know how many pairs were originally on the James. It may have been more than what we have now, um, but it's pretty clear that we're reaching a point of capacity. It has been a tremendous success story to see the eagles come back here on the James. Uh, the James is such a symbol for um, what we can do as a nation in terms of conservation success.